The learning objectives of this chapter are to give those personnel involved in handling dangerous goods an understanding of the criteria used to determine whether goods should be considered as dangerous, and a working knowledge of the nine classes and their respective divisions to which dangerous goods are assigned. The classification is described in Chapter Two, contained in Volume One of the IMDG Code. All chemicals are, to greater or lesser extent, hazardous to human health or to the environment. While a chemical liquid may not necessarily damage the skin on contact, it could be dangerous if consumed. The hazard posed arises from either the substance or article itself, often caused by a change in its storage or transport condition, or by reaction of the substance or article with other substances in the immediate surrounding area. It is very important, therefore, that those responsible for stowing cargo in a ship understand the risks involved with every package of dangerous cargo. And that you follow any instructions about safe stowage fully. For safe handling, the UN has divided hazardous substances and articles into nine classes based on the type of hazard that they present. The purpose of classification is to divide dangerous goods into broad groups according to the hazard or the most predominant of the hazards they represent. The potential for harm to personnel, the environment, or equipment has been assessed in terms of reactivity, flammability, toxicity, and corrosiveness. Scroll down to see all the IMDG class labels. There are nine classes, some of which have been further sorted into subgroups called divisions. Note that the order of the class numbers does not indicate the degree of danger, but only the type of hazard. The classes are explosives, gases, flammable liquids. Flammable solids, substances liable to spontaneous combustion, substances which, in contact with water, emit flammable gases, oxidizing substances and organic peroxides, toxic and infectious substances, radioactive material, corrosive substances, miscellaneous dangerous substances and articles, class nine. And environmentally hazardous substances, chemical explosions are usually caused by very rapid burning of a substance or mixture of substances in the presence of oxygen in the air. Class one explosives has six divisions. Goods of class one are described as compatible if they can be safely stowed or transported together without significantly increasing the chance of an accident. With this in mind, goods listed in this class are stowed according to a special table, which ensures adequate distance between respective packages. Gases may be either compressed, liquefied, or refrigerated liquefied. Class two substances are grouped according to the primary hazard of the gas during transport, namely class three includes. Class four comprises of substances, except those classified as explosives, which readily catch on fire or may cause or contribute to a fire. There are three groups.
Class 5 comprises of two groups. Class 6 deals with toxic and infectious substances and is made up of two groups. Class 7 All radioactive materials are dangerous to a greater or lesser degree because they emit radiation, which is invisible and may damage body tissue. The carriage of radioactive materials involves special procedures and equipment, and those involved in handling radioactive materials receive specialist training. Class 8 Corrosive substances are those substances which by chemical reaction will cause severe damage when in contact with living tissue, or, in the case of leakage, will materially damage or even destroy other cargoes or the framework of the ship. Class 9 covers substances and articles which present a danger not covered by other classes in the code. Substances considered hazardous to the aquatic environment are considered together with Class 9 substances and articles for the purpose of classification under the Code. Marine pollutants are substances which are subject to the provisions of Annex 3 of MARPOL 7378.